Hello everyone, I'm here with my first Harry Potter review on this channel, and let's see how this goes, as, as I am attending to do some more afterwards, so please enjoy. So first of which is on Aragog's Lair. So on the front of the smallish box here, which is the newer design border of which, Lego logo, Harry Potter logo of course, down in the corner Wizarding World logo, picture of everything in action. And then recommended ages is 7 through 14. Set number is 75950. Has about 157 pieces. Then on the back, you see okay, in a more resting position, watch all the features of it, and there. And now onto the booklet, of which same picture as on the front of the box and everything. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. And all the pieces that come with the set, of course. And for Lego Life with the main trio there and all the minifigs included in Eat Bolt This and the Fantastic Beast sets. And for the Fantastic Beast sets, which I'll also be reviewing. And add for the Hogwarts Corridor sets and how they combine and the last steps. Whoops. So on to the mini things. So First of which is Harry Potter himself. And of course, this is based upon his appearance in Chamber of Secrets. So I would see the nice print for the jacket and all, and also the newer candle piece. So with the flame on top, and also the like newish wand pieces, which can pivot and all, rather than like the older ones, which were the bars, of course. And of course, his face print, which looks good, and although you can kind of barely see his trademark scar, with although with the new hairpiece that kind of helps with it. And here he is from the back with his kind of freaked out double side face, of course. And for the only other figure included is Ron Weasley, which also in turn nice print image, and both which have the short legs suiting to their appearance, young appearance in Chamber of Secrets, and also have that newer lantern piece, which of course is just something over a cylinder, and also the, a, the new, and also a hair, gingerish hair piece, which truly works for him, or unlike the older ones, of course, and also has the scarab double side face, also suiting to this scene in Chamber of Secrets. And for the first of the builds is this little tree of which has some corner slopes and other opposite slopes, of course. And some of those other leaf pieces used as foliage. And also a little mushroom piece there. And one of the like bush pieces, of course. So from the back, kind of, but you can kind of see a flip fire missile, but that's for a special reason. As you have flip, you can press that in and forward and have and it has a bit of a web print on it as suiting to this uh, scene with all the spiders of course and also get a ton of these newer spider pieces which were kind of first seen in the city lines and of course both in black and in a uh, darkish tan and also on one of them paddle pieces, also in white, but as probably as webs. And get some more of those newer leaf pieces, and also a web on the side, of course. Last of which is Aragog itself. Of which, a quite nice, good build for it, although probably kind of about in scale to the mini things, to the suiting to the movie accuracy. Also, although it feels like a dwarfish form of the work with elves or work with spiders and also a Shelob in the Lord of the Rings lines. And you get a ton of these like uh, pieces, these like leg pieces from the Chima line, but of which work perfectly for it. And this back part of it that kind of folds up and down. But although, but. But hey, at least the legs work out better than the 2010 version, of course. And that's for the, and the eye pieces, which 
quite nicely done. All of which do look kind of like Brickhead's eyes, but do go with rather with some different prints to it. Although some are off to the side, of course. Although it would have been nice if it like had two more kind of peeking up a bit, a little more spider like, but I kind of forget that. Although with the front and back legs, you can kind of spin in and out like that since they're on the late newer ish uh, bracket pieces, and underneath have one of those rounded tiles so it could lie around, lie down good. And so now, on to my final verdict on this set. So, overall, this I think is a pretty good set. Of which, since it's, since it's a small, cheap set, and it's of one of the good scenes of Chamber of Secrets, of course, and you get a couple of the main characters of which, and also a good amount of spider pieces, if you're making a large a spider web mock, of course. And, well, and if you're looking to get this set for your collection, then go ahead and pick it up. And if Chamber of Secrets is your favorite Harry Potter film, also go ahead and pick it up. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.